I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> All right, well, I'm sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. I'm about to lose everything that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Come again. This Wolverine let down his entire world. Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. Life is a mystery. I don't know anything about saving worlds, but you do. Trust me, kid, I'm no hero. You were an X-Man. You were the X-Man. Soaking wet right now. Boys are so silly. This is what I'm talking about. Like Big slow motion action sequence. Like Who knows if you live or die? Go! Let's fucking go. Yeah! Wanna do some cocaine? Hey, cocaine is the one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about Bolivian marching powder? They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. White girl interrupter? Even forest bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes! Thirtieth, twenty 2023. That was the last time that I went into a movie theater to see a movie. People who listen to this podcast must know by now that I try to schedule and wait and plan for my movies to kind of watch them all at once, all in June, all during movie month. But... I'm sorry. I just couldn't wait anymore. I, I waited long enough, and there was just no way that I could wait all the way until next June to see this movie. I'd already been spoiled enough. I knew pretty much most of the cameos that were going to be in it. You just couldn't help yourself. It seemed like there was a week embargo, and then all of a sudden... You know, headlines on Google News would, would show up or tweets or something, all kinds of stuff. So I wasn't completely, you know, shocked when I saw, uh, you know, uh, Channing Tatum or when I saw Jennifer Garner or when I saw Wesley Snipes. I wasn't completely spoiled, though. Oh, by the way, everybody, welcome to Geek Mentality today. It is August 14th, 2024. It's actually my brother's 20th wedding anniversary today. Happy anniversary. So anyway, I said to myself, Mike, um, 
you don't have to wait to movie month to see every movie. And originally I thought, oh, this would be a great day one movie month movie. But you don't have to wait about, you know, till, till June 1st to see this a whole year. You don't have to wait until uh, you don't have to podcast about movies either. Not every movie you see you have to podcast. And yet here I am talking into my, uh, my phone out in my car in the, the movie theater parking lot. It was something where I said, you know, um, I wanted to see it right away. I'm on vacation. Uh, and, I, you know, my, we had something yesterday. We, my wife wanted to do something on Monday. So it's like, oh, let's go to Maine or go to New Hampshire. Or we want to go into Boston on Friday. And I said, oh, great, great, great. Uh, I want to go see a movie. So here I am at 10 a.m., on a Wednesday going to see Deadpool and Wolverine. And as I said, I'm all over the place just because I really didn't have anything planned. And also, my car's Bluetooth took over, so I talked for about a minute and a half, two minutes, and it wasn't recorded at all, so who knows? It was it was really good. I'm sure what I said was brilliant. But um, as I said, I was spoiled on pretty much most of the uh, cameos, but not all of them. I did not know about Chris Evans. I thought we would see Wolverine, a la- uh, Thor later. I and I was pleasantly surprised when it was the Fantastic Four, Chris Evans. So what my understanding, what I think this was, this was this was a love letter to the Fox era of superheroes, the Fox era of Marvel characters. It really was. It brought in. It didn't bring in. Um, Daredevil, but it brought in Daredevil's, you know, uh, partner, Elektra. And I love the little joke there where she doesn't care about Deadpool because, of course, it's her, it's her ex-husband. Um, I loved the Channing Tatum. There was rumors of him being juggernaut, uh, being um, Gambit for years. There was a movie going to be made. And I love that he had a bad, was it, is it Cajun accent? And, you know, they made fun of that. And this is what I could have been. This is what I should have been. And this almost happened. I loved, you know, just seeing Wesley Snipes be Blade again. Um, there was one shot where he, they, they said, there's been like five different, uh, I forget what, some characters, there's been a bunch of them. He goes, there's only been one Blade, and there's only ever going to be one Blade. And Deadpool looks right into the camera like, oh, interesting. Uh, but really, the movie rides on Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, and you think oh, wow, they're finally in a movie together. But no, no, they've done this before. There's a history between them. There's a history between these characters, different versions of these characters. And this was, um, ah, it was just so much fun. I just had fun at the movies. And it's like, yo, we're going to do this. And we're going to, you know, he he called himself Marvel Jesus. Maybe he was. I don't know. Because, you know, all of a sudden, boom, over a billion dollars at the box office. Um, pretty much, I think it got critical acclaim. I don't think anyone's complaining about it. I don't know who would be complaining about it. Oh, we got Henry Cavill. I was even spoiled on friggin' Henry Cavill. Um, just, it was so much fun. Yeah, I love all the music cues, the needle drops. Uh, you know, Ryan Reynolds, even Ryan Reynolds going, being completely Ryan Reynolds. Uh, I, I enjoyed that. You know, sometimes it's like, wait, okay, yes, yes, yes. But they call him out on that. Like, shut the F up. You don't have to be that way all the Deadpools, and then I know there was a there was like a video of Hugh Jackman reacting to a fight. Was it that street fight with all the Deadpools? It had to have been, because that was so much fun. And the one thing that I was completely not spoiled on, and the one thing where I went, oh, I literally said out loud, oh, awesome, was when they're ready to fight, they're ready to take on all the Deadpool, and all of a sudden, Hugh Jackman, Logan, Wolverine, reaches behind himself and pulls the Wolverine mask on over his head, and it was like, holy shit. And they pointed out, you waited this long to do this? You know, you guys didn't do this? And I see, like, it feels like it wouldn't fit in those X-Men movies, but it looked awesome. It was just like they finally did it, and that alone, not being spoiled on that alone, was incredible. Because I feel like if I waited, yeah, all the cameos are there, but I would have seen a photo of him dressed like that, you know, with that hat on, with the, with the helmet, the mask, whatever you call it, the hood, the cowl, whatever you want. Um, completely awesome. Just like that, that scene alone made the movie for me. 
and then there was so much more to it. I mean, there was so so many other great scenes: the fight in the car, the fight in the road, the 20th Century Fox sign behind them. This was a love letter, a thank you to 20th Century Fox, so much so that they had a behind-the-scenes video of all these different 20th Century Fox um, Disney uh, Marvel movies. I mean, even characters that weren't in this. You know, the Fantastic Four, the the reboot, um, the the new X Men. You know, the new Charles and the new Magneto. They weren't. You know, they were mentioned, but they weren't. Um, those none of the actors were in it, except in this video at the end with "Good Riddance" by uh, Green Day, and it's like, wow, they're kind of they. It's Disney's way of sending off these characters and saying, you know, thank you. You were a major part in the history of comic book movies. And we wouldn't have this movie if we didn't have those characters made by that studio. So, uh, yeah. This is a short one because I need to go. Uh, my mother-in-law has COVID. She's doing okay, but I... Look, I want to be a nice guy, so I say, Hey, if there's anything we can get you, let, let me know. And then she goes, Oh, here's a few things. And I'm like, Oh, you mother son of a bee. So it's like she wants me to pick up some soup and oranges, except the soup. She doesn't want me to get the grocery store. She wants me to go to this deli, which they don't have oranges at this deli. So I've got to go to the grocery store to get oranges. Then I have to go get a haircut. Then down the street from the haircut is the deli. That's where I'm going to get the soup. Look at all. It's, 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 I got to see the movie. Okay. So now I'm paying the price. I'm paying the price. Um, this is the first geek mentality I've done since movie month, I think. So if you, uh, listen to this podcast, You know, I do a bunch of other things. I'm doing a lot of Stranger Things now. Um, I'm doing, I just did a new reaction comics, fine movies, fine spirits. I got a new slash I'm working on soon. So uh, just go to fans.experts.com and see all the podcasts we work on, or I work on, or me and my friends work on. A lot of me and some of my friends. Uh, That is it. I think I'm done. Uh, Just, oh, also, um, I did notice the live field just feet because that, isn't that guy famous for not being able to draw feet? Uh, so they, that little thing. I'm sure there were a ton of references I missed, a ton of things that went over my head. Even for a while, I was like, hey, I recognize that guy. Oh, he was Pyro from the X-Men movies. Um, I'm sure there was millions of references I didn't get, but I definitely was along for the ride and had a hell of a fun time. And I, I loved when he says, "You're gonna be Disney is going to be having you do this till you're 90. They didn't kill him off. So you just never know. You think Logan was the last time, and it isn't. You think this is the last time? I really don't know. I I would have thought he was done with Logan, but you just you can never tell. Um, so fantastic, well done, lots of fun. I have to go now. I'm gonna get the oranges, get the haircut, get the soup, and uh, I don't know. That's it. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Mastodon.social, Blue Sky Threads at Geek Mentality. Uh, the, the Facebook page is Fans Not Experts. The YouTube channel is Fans Not Experts. And the website is FansNotExperts.com. Uh, you might not hear from me until Christmas time, so I hope you go to FansNotExperts.com and check out all the other podcasts I do. Uh, in the meantime, thank you for listening. Thank you for subscribing. Life is a mystery. I haven't said this in a while, so it feels good to say again. <clears throat> let me let me dust it off and get ready. A one, a two. A... Here is my theme song. This is my podcast. I made it. Geek mentality is what I named it, and I think you should listen and subscribe. Cause I'm kind of funny and awesome I think that I'm worth your time And I'm kind of handsome My mom says Please listen and Please subscribe At least listen to this episode Fans not experts